this is something I've been wanting to put together for a while. I've been flying with Arducopter 3.2 on my Hexacopter and if you're not aware, one of the features that comes with this release are spline waypoints. I've used these for a while, but what I really wanted to do was put them to the test and see if I could do an aerial video using spline waypoints that would be fairly close to something that you'd see flying FPV. And if you're not aware of what spline waypoints do, what you'll notice here is that I have a bunch of waypoints going down this creek now probably have too many of them. I'm going to do another test where I minimize the number of waypoints that I use. With regular waypoints you just get straight lines. It looks kind of jagged. What spline waypoints do is kind of make that curve a little bit easier and smoother through this creek. Now let me demonstrate what this actually looks like from a Google Earth perspective. If you look at the yellow push pins these are the actual waypoints that we just saw in Mission Planner. And then these blue lines represent the actual flight path of the hexacopter as it goes down the creek. So you can see that the planned mission versus the actual mission is very close together. So the offset here, like for example, if we were going to measure just that offset between the mission waypoint and the actual waypoint we're talking about a meter so three feet there so in terms of accuracy and performance of spline waypoints so far I've been very impressed now in case you're interested in knowing how you actually do this it's very simple to set these up in the latest version of mission planner you'll see that you have a spline waypoint option in the drop down menu so you'll go ahead and add your waypoints to the map, change them to spline waypoints. In this case, we flew about 30 meters AGL. And here in a few, I'll actually show you the outcome of that flight. One thing that I'd like to point out from my testing, and you'll actually notice this in the aerial video over the creek, is that the spline twitches a, a bit as it passes through a waypoint. And my WP nav speed was actually set at 700. In the video you'll notice a little bit of jerky yaw movement but I know the developers are working to sort that out. That could also be alleviated a bit once I spread out the waypoints and not have it so densely populated along that creek. So I'll go ahead and leave you with the spline waypoint autonomous mission. I'm going to speed it up at 2x. The flight was about three minutes. The creek is about a quarter of a mile long so I wanted to speed it up so you guys don't have to sit through the whole thing and hopefully you'll agree that the outcome of the video using spline waypoints is actually pretty good. My aim is to get the altitude a little bit lower bring it down so we're closer to the creek and I'll definitely share that in upcoming videos. So I'll go ahead and cut to the aerial flyover using spline waypoints. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.